What's going on guys? Welcome to another Resume Review Saturday. So I'm going to keep doing this series every Saturday and I'm just going to keep reviewing resumes for as long as you guys keep sending in resumes and cover letters. Now um, I'm going to limit the amount of resumes and cover letters to about five, four or five each video just because the videos get too long. But if you want me to review your resume, cover letter, portfolio within like 72 hours, there's a Patreon perk for that. You can check that out in the description below. Since we're already talking about it, I redid everything. I think they're pretty fair and um, you know, if you want me to change something, you know, let me know your feedback on it. I want to help you guys and I want to be able to do this, but I have to be able to pay my bills. Everything that you guys have done for me already has been just incredible. I've, you know, I'm just so excited all the time that I can barely sleep. I want to go ahead and say thank you to V. Laszlo and the Martin Fee. Oh, also, so I have a Trello board. What you see behind me is my Trello board of everything, the roadmap of this channel, things that I'm trying to do, things that are pending in progress video ideas that I have. Um, it's all on there. The link for that is in the description also. You can check out, check out you know, what I have coming up. And then if you're, um, you know, the, I think it's like a dollar Patreon, you can go and vote the order of the videos that I'll do these in during the day. And then of course I'll have like these normal series videos. Yeah, so that's about it for the intro. We have a Discord. I'd love to have you in the Discord. Be sure to join it. Link for that is again in the description below. I will personally welcome you, at tag, whatever. I say that every time, but it's for real. I welcome everybody. I know it's, it's, it's like a meme now, but anyways, join the Discord. I'd love to have you. We've got a great group of people there. If I can't answer your question, someone else in the Discord can answer it. If you want to see more of these videos, click that little subscribe, click the like, leave a comment. I want to know what you guys think. Give me some ideas. Um, I'm always adding to the Trello. Um, so, you know, I, I want to help you guys out. So if you guys want to see something, I'm going to try to do my best to be able to make, it, make a video on that topic. Anyways, um, I hope you enjoy the content and I'll see you in the next video. All right, so we have Pablo. I didn't actually even need to remove anything for this one, so. Thank you, Pablo, for doing the work for me. That's what, I think that's what I'm going to start asking. If you guys want to send in a resume, please just like blur out the info that you don't want me to see, and then that way I can review it. And then it's at your discretion. But you know, make sure you get those headers and footers, and don't leave those hyperlinks with your name and your URL in it. Anyways, we got Pablo. Let's talk about what Pablo's doing. Pablo, we need a summary of yourself right here, dude. I'm assuming this is your name and address. Like, I, I don't know. Um, got your GitHub. Your icon, email, that's good. Do you have a LinkedIn? I don't know if there's a LinkedIn, LinkedIn on here. Maybe you should expand this little yellow box and add a LinkedIn here as well. We have software, skills, and interests. Interests are good. I'm not sure if I would include it here though. Yeah, I, in fact, I, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it. You, usually you wanna leave these things for cover letter. So go ahead and remove that, and remove that. Okay, one thing here, I think this could be formatted better. This is a nitpick, I know, but it could be formatted better. And what I mean by that is maybe have these bold here to section them off and then you'll have a list. I like how they're organized. So, I mean, you're separating them out, which is good, but format them a little bit differently. So if I look left, I can see that it's a key. And if I look right, I can see the values of what they are. Um, like similar to actual coding, I guess. So we have our projects over here. That's good. Project skills up front. Um, you're going with the with the two column style, so this works. Competitions, oh yeah, let's talk about competitions. This is good, awesome that you're including this, and then what you used inside of those. Work experience, one thing I would change with your work experience, just reading this right now, I would bullet point these out. Go ahead and use blue. I'd bullet point these out. So you have a couple sentences. You have a more of a paragraph description of what you've done. I would break them out into like I did automated repetitive computer-based tasks such as web scraping and data into legible format. Um, and then another one would be clerical duties. Yeah, that's going to take up a little bit more space, but you have some room to spare here. Provided general assistance where needed and made sure guests and speakers were situated in the correct lecture halls. All right, if you're going to include this as like work experience, then I would probably put this towards the bottom. Um, that's just my two cents. Monitor the department's vintage instrument collection and granted access to verified students. I'd figure out a way to make this sound more complicated than that, because um, I bet you can. That's what I do. I try to break these apart, but I like, I like the fact that you're not using any first person here, but you are using first person over here. So we need to remove this ASAP. No first person. And actually, see the se the sentence still works. Using D3GS created like. Oh, there's another one. You can go in here and remove these. Um, no, no first person. Just this is 
this is what happened. This is why it happened, and this is how it happened type, type deal. Um, GitHub portfolio. So you're including the links to it. Uh, I actually can't click on them. So I'm assuming this is the link. Like if I go to your GitHub, then I'll find this. And I go to GitHub, I'll find this. Same for this, but I can't actually click on them. So you should let me click on them rather than I have to go, you know, type in a URL. I, bet, I get what you're going for though. Education down here at the bottom, probability theory. I mean, this is uh, this is up to you. I don't think that you even necessarily need to. You don't need to include this, really, dude. Like you could you can just remove this. It's no big deal. Um, and then it would clear up space so that you could have room to do these bullet points here. What I would do is I would also do the same thing that you have on your work experience over here with the bullet points and kind of separating every task and responsibility out over here with what you did exactly. So this is a description of what it is, but I would put like, this is what I used to do this. This is what I used to do this. Yeah, it's a little bit tedious. Yeah, it's going to make the page longer, but again, you have some room to spare. Um, one thing I do notice is this is just my personal opinion. If you're making web applications, this is, I'm going to assume Times New Roman. This is a serif font, and a serif font is when the letters have these little edges on them. Usually sans serif fonts are better for readability. Um, actually, what's best in design, or what the, what the trend in design is right now is that you have a, you have two different fonts. You have a primary font and a secondary font, or you have a, a thin font and a bold font. So that's what people are using now to separate out um, different sections. So you could go with that. But everything else here, like the format of it, I think is pretty good. Um, you're, you're definitely on the right track. Just a couple things I would move around. Um, yeah, so, so good job. I'm not sure how to say your name, so I'm sorry. All right, so let's start looking at this. One thing I noticed right away, your skill set's over here. And one thing about your skill set is you have a advanced JavaScript, advanced view, advanced basic intermediate. I get what you're going for, right? You want to let them know how much you've worked with it. Um, I personally am more of the type of person that says, hey, you don't have to tell them how much experience you have with any of this stuff, and it's your job to prove that. So regardless if you put advanced, basic, intermediate, whatever you want, you're going to have to test out anyways and prove that. So I don't really think that you need to put that basic AI. Just put that. I mean, they'll figure out what your level is when you uh, when you do that test. One thing we do need to add, right? I don't know anything about you, man. Like, tell me your history. Tell me something about you. Like, what's your favorite food? And by what's your favorite food, I mean add a summary up here. That would look pretty good. Um, you have a lot of white space going on. I think that you could probably shrink down some white space a little bit in a few areas. Mainly here, here. Um, you get what I'm going with that. Contact. You have a GitHub, but uh, I noticed that you only included your GitHub name. There's no link here, and I can't click on it to go there. So we have experience. That's fine. Um, your contact here. I feel like your contact could be spread out a little bit. Um, reduce, reduce the space here. Move this title up some and then move the contact to be in this new white space area that you'll that you'll have when you move stuff up that way your skill set can sit flush so right now you have experience and contact but what should happen is it should be experience and skill set i think that would look a lot better awards those are good language good fluent english ca is certified it's good you have a certification on there um personal Again, it's my opinion that you should leave this for the cover letter or if you have the opportunity to talk about it. I care about open source. So that's something you could just be like, hey, I really, I'm really into open source. Check out my stuff here, here, and here, 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 and here. One thing I'm noticing is that you have experience, coding teacher, full stack developer, lead developer. Where's your portfolio? Do you have any specific projects that you're, you're proud of? Like, and, and where can I find those links? Am I just assuming that they're going to be on GitHub? Because I see that this is where you've worked, um, but I'm sure in the meantime you've worked on something because you probably couldn't get this developer job without having some sort of project to show them just the same way you'd get any other developer job. So where are these links at? Are they on your GitHub? If they're on your GitHub, I'm not going to go there and go to github.com slash, you know, whatever your name is. I would redo this, and I would add your GitHub to be... Um, yeah, like an actual clickable link. So do that, add that there. Another thing you need to add is also your LinkedIn. There's no LinkedIn here. Or let's talk, let's talk about your experience here for a second. Again, we need to break these out. Scratch 
Use Scratch to teach coding in English to kids 8 to 10. Well, what, what exactly does that mean? Do you create the curriculum? Like, can you go into a little bit more detail? I, I mean, I think that's pretty interesting. In all honesty, I would take maybe three of these and then drop the rest since they're kind of unrelated. And then I would really, so these are like your first real developer jobs that I can see here. And these, I don't know, this is a C++. Um, just pick a couple of these and really go into detail about what they, what they did or what you did there. And, you know, do like the way you're wording it is good. There's no first person. You got a lot of action verbs, um, but you need to format this out so I can see what you did specifically. Like I did X, I did Y, I did Z. And it needs to be, it needs to be pretty blatant what you did. I don't need a description of how you worked or why you worked or anything like that. I just want to see what you did exactly. And if you're, if you're a match to our job, like, oh, if you did that here, if you did that at this job, you could probably do that at our job. That's what people are going to think. And so that's why the skill set and experience are so important to be up at the top because they just want to see right away if you're a match. Otherwise, it's easy for them. Like, they don't even need to scroll, and they're just done. But that is my two cents on your resume. Thanks for sending in your resume. This is good stuff. Just... All right, so next up we have Vishnu, and there's a couple things I really want to point out. I'm not sure if this is a cultural thing, and I didn't blur it out because uh, I... Even if it is, you definitely can't apply to jobs when this is going to be your username on LinkedIn and GitHub, dude. Like, I'm sorry, but if you're applying to jobs in the U.S. and you have that as a username, there's no way that's going down. Even, like, just first glance at that, like, you need, this needs to go, dude. Put, take this away. 100%. Change your username yesterday. All right, now let's talk about the more normal stuff about this here. We need to add a... A little bit of a there has like a some sort of highlight behind your objective like right there's like this slight gray highlight here you need to remove that background there programming position that's challenging mentally stimulating I mean that's good um, doesn't say much about you though as a person you just want a difficult job that's basically what I get out of that experience is good but I would take your skills put it above your experience Education can stay down here at the bottom. All right, so you have a lot of education, it seems. You don't need to include any of this stuff. You don't need to include any of this stuff. Well, if you have experience and you have a portfolio, you don't need to justify why you've taken certain courses. All they care is if you can do the job. It's a nice little checkbox, to, so put them on there, but you don't have to go into like deep stuff. All right, so we have projects, emotional analysis, WhatsApp group chats, so these seem like applications that you could actually apply. And so in that case, I would take this project, let's move it up here, above your education, here. Or if you wanted, you could even take it and put it above and put it right below where your new experience is going to go. Achievements. Achievements are also good here. I mean, they're kind of give and take. Technical workshops, I would probably leave that just at the bottom. But you have a really long resume. It's already two pages, and if you go a little further, it's almost three pages. So I would try and eliminate some of this white space here. Like, there's a lot of white space here, here, here. Um, let's talk about how you discuss your experience. Develop multiple projects for clients and enhance the company's flagship application. How did you develop multiple projects? What projects and what did you do on those projects? You need to go and make some bullet points here and really like flesh out what you've what you've done. Also, there's no link for me to to see anything about this. I understand it's experience, but if multiple projects, hey, can I get a link to one? Um, web development intern. Okay. Got your skills. I like how they're organized. Attended workshop. Uh, I think technical workshops should be included if they're like an ongoing thing. The more I think about it, like this is a past type deal. Like you could talk about it in the interview. Be like, oh yeah, I actually went to a workshop about blockchain technology conducted by KSI. Like that. These are good talking points. They're not necessarily things that qualify you. They're just things that you've done. It's not like a project. Qu projects are things that you've done and qualify you. They don't. This doesn't do that. Achievements are good. First place, Code Storm. So I definitely put that up there. Go back to blue here. 
definitely take this achievements and then I'd put that also above your education here. So those are the things that I would change for this. Um, tools used, emotional analysis, a mobile first web application. Where can I find this though? Like, can I see this? Where's this? I, I meant to use green, but where can I see this? We need links to this also. And then up here, you do have your LinkedIn and GitHub. The font is pretty big. I might minimize those. And then again, either kill the URL entirely and have this be the link or change your URL, dude. And in my opinion, just leave the link. Um, yeah, maybe think about modifying your objective here. So programming position is challenging. Maybe be like, I'm looking for a challenging and mentally stimulating position where hard won results are rewarded or something like that. And that, that sounds pretty good, at least out loud it did. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for this one. Uh, just make those changes and I think you'll be good to go. All right, so we got Evan here. Let's take a look at Evan. So Evan's going with the two column layout here. Let's talk about how I would move things around just right away looking at it. So I would take work experience, move it over to this column and I would take technical skills, move it up here to where work experience is and then obviously rotate development projects down to here. So just a little bit of a, a leave education there. That's fine. Another thing I noticed is that it's included with second page. I just, it's just a PDF. I opened it. So they're getting two pages for no reason. So make sure you go back in your word and you delete this page before you export it as a PDF. Um, so these are your personal projects. You do have the URLs to them. So that's good. Technical skills. I like how those are organized. One thing that you do need here, because you have a lot of space here anyways, is go ahead and just add, add a little summary right below yourself there. Um, and then also, before I blurred this out, I didn't see a LinkedIn or a GitHub. So I would add a maybe a LinkedIn and then a GitHub here, and then just include their little icons. As far as anything to take away, um, not too much. I like that you include the skills of each development project. That's good. And then you have some good um, action verbs going on here. No first person. That's good. No picture. Also good. Um, yeah, everything in here seems good. Um, just put the one year when you graduated. Fantastic. Um, I, I really like this. Maybe you could add a little bit of color to it if you wanted to maybe change, let me go back to blue for change, but you, you want to maybe change the underline of this so people are like, it's, it's easier for them to read. I don't know, I'm just being nitpicky. I'm trying to find things now and I shouldn't have to do that, which means you have a good resume.